<laughs> Mr. Vice President, Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore is here. Great, send him in. How you doing, Mike? Roy, I don't have to tell you that the Senate hangs in the balance. We're trying to pass a tax reform plan this year to bring Mr. Trump's list of big legislative accomplishments to one. We can't lose your seat this December. Yes, sir. Now, I know you're Bannon's guy, but this latest news about you is concerning. Voters in Alabama will never elect someone who's had relations with a minor. You sure about that? No. <laughs> Alabama is quite a place, but we can't take chances. I mean, Mike, look, it's all lies. I'm not that guy. Perhaps, Roy, perhaps. But it's hard to convince people that you're not into young girls when you dress like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> I mean, Come on, the left-wing media loves to repeat these sexual harassment stories. There's a new one every day, Mike. I know. Even I heard about Louis C.K. and I'm not allowed, I'm, I'm not allowed to watch TV. I'm only allowed to listen to it. <laughs> But this girl who was accused, who's accused you, was 14 years old, Roy. You gotta do the right thing here. All right. If everyone thinks I did it, I'll marry her. No, Roy. No, <laughs> no Roy. I want you to consider stepping aside. You don't think of it as ending your campaign. Uh, think of it as going to conversion therapy to turn yourself into someone who's no longer a candidate. I mean, come on, sir. Do we have to do it this way? I mean, can't you call the boss? Oh, sorry. I'm not going to call Vladimir Putin about this. <laughs> no. I can't make you do anything, Roy. But I want you to think hard about this. I'll give you a couple minutes to consider. Ah, oh, dang. What a pickle this is. What am I going to do? That's what you're gonna do. Hey, you have sessions. What are you doing in here? Well, I was just doing what I always do. I'm cooking up nightmares for children. <laughs> but uh, it's good I'm here, because I've been meaning to talk to you. Please. All right. <laughs> now, Roy, you've been doing some controversial stuff. Wave a gun around on stage. Tell folks Muslims shouldn't be allowed in Congress and that 9-11 was God's punishment for sodomy? I love it. <laughs> you, you check a lot of boxes for me, Roy. Thank you, Jeff. But, uh, this is really bad. I'm usually the creepiest one in the room, but I look at you and I'm like, oh, my God. I got the goose force. They say you even admitted to being with a couple of 16-year-olds. Oh, come on, Jeff. You know I was just kidding. Oh, all right. Well, that's a relief. Uh, no, kidding is the term I use for dating young ladies. All right. All right, get on out of here. I'm Alabama, but you, you, sir, are too Alabama. Get out. Get on. Leave me to my gerrymandering. Oh. <laughs> Papa, I need some advice. <laughs> Papa, what's going on? I want to be happy again. I want to go back to the Senate, Daddy. I'll be good. I'll talk to Kamala Harris. I promise. <laughs> But there's so many men out there acting like monsters. Mr. Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, the president. <laughs> Daddy, has this been happening forever? Have I both fostered and benefited from a culture of systemic oppression? <laughs> no? Well, that's a relief. I love you, Daddy. Live in New York. Oh, it's Saturday night. <laughs>